Hi, my Aries gang. How are you beautiful people doing? How are you guys doing? Welcome. I am doing a general love reading for you guys today. So take whatever applies. Throw out what doesn't resonate. Always, okay? Um, don't comment down in the section saying, hey, this is not my story. Because I'm going to chew you up. Just to let you know. Give you a warning. Okay? It's meant for... I'm obviously reading for a group of a large group of people because I am putting this on YouTube. I'm putting this on my TikTok channel as well. So, you know, I'm reading for a wide array of people. So it might not apply for you guys, for some of you, but it could resonate. So if it does resonate, you could comment down below. I'm always open to hearing your opinions and your feelings. So yeah, if you send a comment, you put down a comment, that's perfectly fine. But if you're saying it's not your story, then okay, I understand. It's not everybody's story. Like I said, it's not a personal reading. So I don't expect it to be your story. Okay? So if you put those ignorant comments down below, just expect to be blocked. Because I don't have time for it. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying. It's annoying. Okay, so sex fortunes. I'm going to be doing this sex fortunes, okay? Because I've been doing it with all my other signs so far. And I just find it fun. It just loosens up the tension. Gets us in the mood. Okay, so what's coming your way in love with the sex fortunes? Or what's going on in your current love life for some of you guys? Okay, so let's see. Aries, collective. Even if you're single, you know, this is for everybody. What is coming their way in love for Aries? For sex. What's coming their way in sex for Aries? Good sex. Ooh, okay. So I'm just going to pull a couple of cards here. So we have judgment. Okay, ooh, this is an interesting position. I never really, it's like a, a, a scissor position, but the person's not on top. They're like laying flat on the person. And this person's on a beach by the water, on sand. This is the judgment card. I can't show you the images because they blocked me on YouTube. But this, this, i never seen this image before. This dude is laying across the lady. And I guess, oh, okay. I guess he's like um, doing it from the side. Like he's hitting it from the side and she's laid down flat on her back yeah it just kind of seems a little bit like i don't know seems a little bit um i don't want to use the wrong word um a little feminine if a dude's doing that <laughs> it, it kind of reminds me of scissoring so maybe it could be a scissoring for some of you guys um and we have the high priestess energy Ooh, some of you guys like to get naughty and do it in like government buildings that you shouldn't be doing it in like a church building i hope some of you didn't get freaking in a church I hope you didn't get freaking the church. <laughs> okay, so let's say the high priestess. And this is basically just like, um, you know, the person's laying down, a woman's laying down on her back. The guy is like hitting it from the front, you know, and he's on his knees. They're on the ground. You know, he's penetrating her. Okay. So that's the, the high priestess. And we have back, doggy style. That's basically it. Doggy style. Ace of te testicles. Ace of testicles. So, yeah, this is person's on cloud nine. Somebody really loves when you give them doggy. They really love doggy style with you. They're like, yeah, because it's like you have a perfect ass. Your hips, your proportions are just really nice. Somebody really likes doggy style with you. So that's a message for some of you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very brief segment, but, you know, I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of fun in my reading. So uh, let's see what's coming your way in love. Okay, we're going to start off with what's coming your way in love. What is coming their way in love for my Aries collective? What is coming their way in love for Aries? Temperance, healing, waiting. Somebody wants to, yeah, they're waiting to send you a text, but they're going back and forth whether or not they should do it. They have some attraction towards you, a strong attraction. And there's a choice that some of you have to make between two people. Okay, tell me more about this temperance. What's going on with Aries and their current love situation? What's coming towards their way? For Aries in love. Okay, we have High Priestess energy. We have the High Priestess with this Sex Positions card too. So somebody's thinking, or there could be a period of silence right now with this High Priestess. Somebody's healing, and there might be a period of like solitude right now. We have somebody who's thinking with this Four of Swords or healing. They're thinking a lot about the situation. And we have the Sun here, okay? So this is Leo energy. Um, somebody's thinking of something that might be coming to light or, you know, some clarity that might be, be, be provided on the situation or somebody's pursuing their happiness at this time. Somebody may have walked away in the situation and somebody's still watching you. They're still heavily attentive to, attentive to you, 
of this page of swords energy. They're watching you walk away. It's kind of like they're allowing you to go for some of you. Some of them, you they allowed you to leave. Like, why would you allow me to leave? If you love me, you shouldn't allow me to leave. Chase me. You know, do the work. Be the hunter. Be the man in this situation. All right, so why is temperance here for what's coming their way in love for Aries? Why is temperance here? Okay. The higher fonts. Okay, so maybe some of you are waiting for a higher level of commitment with this person. Maybe you are waiting for this person to actually, like, um, pop the question to you. Like, you know, put a ring on it. You invested so much time, so many years with this person that they didn't commit. You know, you might have been in a domestic partnership with them. Maybe you were living with them for a period of time. You had kids with them. X, Y, and Z, you know, share rent with each other. But this person, maybe you were looking for a high level of commitment because you felt like you spent so much time and your energy with them. And maybe you are in a high level of commitment and you're healing from this situation. But I feel strongly there's some of you who want a higher level of commitment with this person and they didn't provide. And some of you decided to disconnect. Um, some of you are held back from this person. Whether it's for a pentacles energy or somebody's holding on to a grudge. Okay, let me shuffle one more time. Yeah, I feel like somebody's like held back at this time. They're withdrawing their energy for stability. Yeah, somebody's holding on to their stability. They're not trying to offer this high level commitment towards you for whatever reason. We'll see if we can get to the bottom of some of this. Why the Four of Pentacles energy spirit for what's going on with Aries and their current love situation? Why the Four of Pentacles energy for Taurus? Yeah, somebody's holding back on this new beginning, having this new beginning with this Ace of Wands because they're kind of torn in between. They're at a crossroads about this family dynamic that you may have had with them. Even if you were, even if you weren't married to this person and you were living with them or saw a high level commitment with them, saw stability at one point with them, they're looking into other opportunities. They're at a crossroads at this time. They're looking for other options with this Ace of Wands. And this is speaking of passion, so there could be a choice between two, like I said, because I saw the lovers, which is a choice between two people, and somebody's probably looking into another option at this time. So what is this two of wands with the ace of wands for Aries, current love situation? What is this two of wands, ace of wands? Okay, so somebody might be looking for a new opportunity with you. Maybe they're stuck in a crossroads right now. Um, they're trying to reconcile this connection. If you had a high level of commitment with them, they see you as their happiness. It doesn't matter if you were in a marriage or whatever. You might have had a family or a kid or kids with them. They saw you as happiness at one point in time or still do. They would like to have a new beginning, but they're at a crossroads about this. Some of them are very immature. They're, they're approaching you as like a page. And some of you are just tired of the nonsense, tired of the, the mind games, the manipulation. You know, maybe there could, I don't know. I'm not going to say third party because I, I don't see it quite surely yet. But with the lovers and the two of wands, it could be speaking of a third party. Uh, what is the high priestess for Aries? Current love situation. What's coming their way with the high priestess? Somebody already knows something or they found out something. The world. Somebody's already contemplating that something's going to end. Yeah, somebody already knows that something's going to end or they're in solitude. There, um, there's silent treatment going on because something ended and somebody's looking into new opportunities now. We got the three of wands, which could also be speaking of three of wands, could be speaking of third party energies. Um, so somebody's looking into the future, into future goals, what's going to cause them, hap what's going to give them happiness with the sign of cups energy. And this could be speaking of self-indulgence at this time, drinking, smoking, weed, drugs, sex, oversleeping, overeating, things of that nature, not catering to your health at this time but this could also be a positive card for the nine of cups also going after your goals this person has a suit on going after his goals going after his ambitions at this time with this nine of cups energy he or she okay so somebody's looking for a new adventure to make them happy yeah tell me more about this nine of cups for um aries yeah some of you are wanting victory success accomplishments at this time okay some of you are in the limelight. Some of you are getting extra attention at this time. Okay. Um, your your ego is big right now. Somebody's ego is very big right now. They want the attention. Somebody also wants your attention. You're getting a lot of attention. And somebody wants your attention. Um, 
because that will make their ego feel good. But I feel like somebody said something in the situation with this King of Swords energy. Somebody may have called it quits. They made up their mind. They said, you know what? This situation is not serving me anymore. I can't deal with this. I am done. Somebody's words were cutting. Somebody said something that someone didn't like. And then we have this Four of Swords energy. What is this swords, Four of Swords about for, for Aries? Yeah, somebody is thinking of moving forward now towards happiness. Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands in the Tower. Okay, so somebody wants to talk or somebody is about to encounter a tower, actually. Either, okay, there's two scenarios. Somebody is wanting to communicate. I feel strongly there's somebody who wants to communicate. So expect expect communication. Okay, so somebody is trying to like break down this tower. Somebody's trying, they're hoping to break down this tower, this tension that you guys are having, whatever happens with this tower moment, because you guys always get this tower. Whatever happened in this tower moment, somebody's trying to break down this tower. They're trying to get through to you, is what I'm trying to say. This person's trying to get through to you. They're trying to make peace. They want things to be smooth moving forward. They want to break down this tower. They want things to move smoothly moving forward. With this chariot. This person wants to talk. They want outreach to you with this page of cups energy. Uh, probably apologize or send you a flirty text. They see that you're, you know, in stagnation right now. You're not giving them no time of day. And you're wondering like, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? A lot of you are experiencing this situation right now. A lot of you are just moving forward and disconnected from this past energy. Um, what is this eight of wands with the tower for Aries? What is this eight of wands with the tower for Aries? There's communication about a conflict also for some of you guys. Okay, King of Pentacles. Okay, so something about growth and stability or money situation. Somebody might need to man up in a situation. Somebody might feel like they're taking on the weight of the relationship as far as finances go. And they feel like this person needs to man up or woman up and start making money. Because it's causing a, a, a huge tower moment in the relationship. Whether you're still connected to this person or not. It causes a huge issue with this King of Pentacles energy. With this finances. With finances. Somebody definitely wants to talk. They're trying to manifest this new beginning with you. But somebody's really... Or they're very emotionally manipulative. Um, and then also somebody is very sad. Or they're missing you at this time. Um, they're heavy in regret for something that happened. What did this person do in Aries love situation? What did they do in the Aries love situation? What did they do? Yeah, this person was indecisive. They couldn't make up their mind. They're very reckless with this fool energy. They didn't take this love situation very serious with this four of cups. There's always something going on behind, behind closed doors that some of you didn't even know about with the moon energy. Things were buried within the subconscious. They were keeping things from you. Hidden. We have the high priestess and we have the moon. So something was definitely hidden. So let's see what was hidden. What was hidden? All right, I'm going to clarify the sun in a second. But somebody has a big ego here. Somebody was very indecisive. Some of you guys are embarking on a new beginning. And it's ending up, it's going to be very, even if you haven't started this new beginning yet, Spirit's telling you to start this new beginning. You need to start this new beginning because you're going to end up having victory in this new situation. Whether solo or with a new situation, you're going to end up being victorious. There's going to be a lot of accomplishments and success that are coming your way or that is in your way right now. Like you're already accomplishing stuff. You're already on the right path for a lot of you guys. Okay. Um. So tell me more about the sun energy for Aries. What is the sun for Aries? What is the sun for Aries? What is the sun for Aries spirit? Okay, after some period of feeling um, left out in the cold or abandoned, there's some happiness coming in. Something's going to be revealed, I feel. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Somebody's going to tell the truth. Somebody's speaking their truth. Somebody has become a little bit cold in this past connection. But they're, in, they're, they're willing to talk to you. But if you say something to them wrong, if you cross them the wrong way, like I always say, that sword, their mouth is going to be uncontrollable. So beware, okay? So somebody wants to speak about this situation of feeling abandoned. Um, they want some light. They want some clarity on the situation. There's definitely strong communication here. Somebody wants to talk about something. There is definitely some heartbreak in the situation. Uh, what does this Queen of Swords want to talk about? What does this Queen of Swords energy want to talk about for Aries situation? 
They want to talk about justice. Evening out the scales. Okay? Making, you know, things... They feel like this was a one-sided connection. They want justice. They want reciprocity in the situation. If you're still connected to this person, this person wants reciprocity. They don't want this immature energy. They want you to put them as a priority. You know, treat them as a queen that they are, this queen of wands. Okay, some of you are not pouring into them physically too. Some of you are not giving them extra sexual attention at this time. Is what I'm picking up on for some Aries. Some of you Aries have a very good sex life and there's some Aries who feel like there's been a disconnect. Somebody has withdrew from the things that they used to do. They're no longer doing anymore and you're starting to feel like they're um, having third party interests. Okay, so let's see what's going on for some Aries. If you're currently dealing with this person or what's coming your way with this love situation, what's going on for Aries in their current love situation, Spirit? What is going on for Aries in their current love situation? What is going on for my Aries collective in their current love situation, Spirit? Aries, Aries, what's going on in their current love situation? Aries, what is going on in their current love situation, Spirit? Aries, what is going on in their current love situ situation? Aries. What is going on in their current love situation for Aries? What is going on in their current love situation for Aries? What is going on for Aries' current love situation? Aries. Okay. Got a few cards here. So let's see. Okay. We have clingy. Clingy. Um, old exes, dead relationship, old ways. Okay. So maybe there is an ex that got involved in this situation. Or an old ex was very clingy. And probably intruding on relationships or somebody was just stuck in their old ways of thinking with this clingy energy. Um, stagnant, stuck, dead end, frozen. So something has come to a halt. They feel like nothing's moving. Nothing's progressing. Okay, so some of you are departing. You're going towards forward movement with that chariot or spirits encouraging you to go forward with this chariot. Keep moving forward because there's a period of stagnation here. Somebody's feeling stuck like they're at a dead end. They're frozen. Look at this dog. <laughs> He's just chilling. It's like, oh, God. Oh, misery. <laughs> what a miserable life. And then there could be a legal issue that some of you are going through with lawyers and court paperwork. Could be a housing court issue for some of you guys. Um, picking up on family court as well. Or a criminal court case matter. Anything legal. But definitely something housing and family. Maybe a marriage as well, because we saw the Ten of Cups. Um, a marriage matter, a divorce or a separation. We have sipping, rumors, gossip, nosy. So somebody might be spreading rumors um, or drinking a lot at this time. The sipping card, I never saw this one before. Rumors, gossip, nosy. So some people are just getting in your business right now. And some of you feel the need to just like sip your pain away. I'm going to clarify the sipping card. Lust. Greed by any means necessary and considerate. Somebody's very either controlling about money or sexual stuff with this lust card. You take it wherever it applies. We're going to clarify that too. Cutting ties. Freedom. Standing up. Awaken. Some of you have had a tower moment where you became awakened and you decide to cut ties with this person. You're freeing yourself with this freedom. You're standing up for yourself and you're awakened now. You're no longer hiding behind this this mask anymore. This protective um, cloth over your head. You're throwing up your hands. You're like, I'm standing up for myself now. I'm cutting the ties. I'm cutting the cords with this double energy. Some of you were dealing with a Capricorn or still dealing with one. Okay, so what is this um, clingy energy for Aries? What is this clingy energy for Aries? What is this clingy energy for Aries, collective? What is this clingy energy for Aries? Okay, heartbreak. Somebody's heartbroken about something. What, are this, what is this person heartbroken about? What is this person heartbroken about for Aries? The sun, something that brought them happiness. Whether it be you or somebody else. Yeah, somebody that you rejected or made they rejected you, they decided to make a decision to, like, X you out, and they left you out in the cold. So somebody's feeling heartbroken by that situation. They saw you as their happiness. Okay, so that's for the clingy card. They feel abandoned by you. 
Um, what is this legal issue for Aries? What is this legal issue for Aries? Legal issue for Aries. Okay, the Queen of Cups. Something that's leaving somebody highly in their emotions right now. Or somebody's feeling like there's going to be emotional, like a legal issue that's coming up. And they're very emotional about it at this time. They have to work together as a team with the lawyers and other people to try to resolve this issue. Um, but this is a highly emotional issue. And some of you are focusing on your girlfriend's stability with this Empress energy. Some of you may have be, may be pregnant by this person. So this could be a family court matter, like I was saying. So some of you are in your feelings about working together as a team. Um, you feel like this legal matter has caused you to be more in your emotions right now. What is this sipping card? What is this rumors about for Aries? Rumors for Aries. What is this rumors about for Aries? What is this rumors about for Aries? Nine of Swords. It's causing somebody great stress because there was some truth that was told. Of a betrayal. With the Seven of Swords. Or somebody was avoiding telling the truth about something. So what was this Ace of Swords? What was this truth that was not being told? For Aries, what was the truth that was not being told for Aries? Yeah, somebody kept was emotionally held back. They kept holding back. They wouldn't let go. They wouldn't express their feelings. You know, you kept encouraging, like, come on, just talk. Talk. I'm here. Talk to me. You know, you got frustrated with them. They they weren't talking. You wanted justice. You wanted equal give and take. You felt like you were always giving in to the situation. This person wasn't giving their truth. You were always telling the truth, always being forthcoming with them, and they weren't doing the same for you. Why is lust here for Aries' current situation? What's this lust card about? Seven of Wands. Why the Seven of Wands? Somebody's blocking someone at this time. Because they're reflecting on the past of a missed opportunity and how they surrendered, someone surrendered to the connection. They want to um, explore new romantic opportunities with this Page of Cups energy. They're, you know, talking to other people at this time with this Page of Cups. For some of you guys, some of you are single at this time and somebody's still trying to figure out what to do next in their next situation, um, how to invest in themselves. Um, but what is this less energy? Somebody's, yeah, somebody's just practicing self-care at this time. They're blocking out their, um, their past. They're trying to invest in themselves. How to make this pentacles grow into something bigger. So somebody's just being extra into themselves right now. And for some of you, they don't like that. That you're trying to invest in yourself right now. What is this cutting the ties for Aries? Cutting the ties for Aries. What is this cutting the ties for Aries Collective? Yeah, the high priestess. Knowing your worth. Cutting the ties. Being quiet. Some of you are using your silence to your advantage. You're being very mysterious at this time. Why are you being so mysterious? Why is someone being so mysterious? Yeah, some of you are looking for new love opportunities. Chatting up different people with this page of wands energy. Why the page of wands? Somebody wants to break the silence. Why the page of wands for Aries? Yeah, somebody wants to express their love. Somebody wants to talk to you. They want to express their love to you. Mm. They want to have this new beginning with you after you walked away. They see hope in the situation, but some of you are like, mm -mm. chase me if you can, find me if you can. So there's definitely this Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to talk about this new beginning, and I feel like it could be somebody from your past. Um, That seems to be the constant theme in a lot of these stories. I'm hoping to pick up on newer love interests, but some of you may be working but this is for the core card. But some of you may be also working with other people. You might be on a dating app right now looking for other love or being just very playful at this time with the Celeste card with other energies Um, if you disconnected from a past person. But I feel strongly some of you are still attached to someone and um, it's been a constant back and forth. So if it resonates to any extent, please comment down below. If you would like to see more Aries readings, please comment down below. Because I'm an Aries moon and, you know, I would love to see more Aries readings to see what's going on for us. But you guys are not really commenting. You guys have taken the poll, so I appreciate that. 
But also comment down below. Just put Aries or say, yes, this story resonates to some extent. You know, just put something down there to show that you're interested, that you're actively engaged on the channel. So I can do more readings for you moving forward, okay? Because I love you, Aries. I do. I sure do. And comment if you like the new setup about this little sex talk that we had here in the beginning to just break the tension before we start the reading. So I hope these help for some of you guys. Um, hmm. I wonder if I did, no, I didn't do this one for you guys, for Aries, the love oracle messages. What is it that this person wants to say in their current love situation for Aries? What is it that this person wants to say for this current love situation for Aries? What is it that this person wants to say in regards to this current love situation with Aries? What is it that this person wants to say in regards to this current love situation with Aries? What is it that they want to say? Some of them are very private people. They do not want to talk their business. What is it that they want to say to Aries? What, what do they want to say? Because these cards fly out for some of these readings. Aries, what is it that this person wants to say? Very held back personality. Avoidant personality. Tell me more about Aries. What is it that they want to say to this person? Aries. Okay, you're not going to get much out of this person. This person is stubborn and highly egotistical. I sense that already. Very stubborn. All right, let's see. What else? Do they want to say to Aries? One last card. Okay. Oh, that was a struggle. Okay, so some of you, like I said, some of you are having good, strong passion with this person. Sex with you. Even if you're not sexing them anymore, they're missing the sex. Sex with you was amazing. Shall we say more? Okay. So the heat between us is intense. So this is a strong passion connection. Maybe some of you, like with the lovers, I saw the lovers energy. So there's a choice between two. And the lovers is speaking of attraction. So some of you are embarking on a new, these are all sex cards. Oh my God. Sexual desire. Somebody has strong sexual desire for you. The heat between us is intense. Sex with you. So this new person that you're dealing with might be someone that you're just having a passion to fling with. Okay, for some of you Aries, my life is a mess right now. If I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. So somebody's admitting some flaw, some flaw, some faults in this situation from this past. Okay, but there's a new energy here. I feel like it's the past energy and a newer energy with the sex with you. And the heat between us is intense because that's all the lovers card here. It's a choice between two and the two of wands and the three of wands. So definitely third party energy here. Sexual desire. So I don't know if it's you, Aries, who's finding somebody else right now that you're entertaining, but they find sex with you to be incredible, which is a great job. I know our, us Aries get down. So I hope this reading resonates for some of you guys. And please comment down below. Just say Aries, say something. So I know that you guys will like some more consistent readings. Okay, guys, much love to you guys. Have a great day.